Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. This is using Hong Kong old style scoring. It's the easiest style to learn how to play. So if you're new to Mahjong, click show more below the video in sort of the lower left area. That will open up the video description and then click the link to the lesson playlist so you can learn how to play. Let me show you how these random pulls work. I have my wind of the round indicator. I'm going to do four rounds, east, south, west, and north. We'll start with east, and I'm going to roll to see which seat I'm in. I rolled a nine, so we're going to say that I'm in seat one, which is east. East seat, east round. As the dealer, I get 14 tiles. Let's see what we can do with this. And I'm going to say that we're going to play a two fawn minimum. So we need to find two fawn in order to qualify to win. Anytime you play with a group, they're going to typically have some kind of a fawn minimum. In my group, we usually have four fawn. So two fawn is somewhat low but it can be a challenge so if we're the dealer we're east and it is east round look what we got a one flower that is our seat flower and it is the the wind of the round we get too fond for that we can win however we want now because we qualified to win just by that flower alone that's kind of one of the luck elements of the game so I'm going to take a replacement for each of those flowers and let's see what we can play. I think I would play for the quickest win possible here to get that fawn score. I think probably I would play all Pung. We have three pair. So those are the flowers, those are not in our hand. This is the hand right here. Let me take it back. Here we go. Okay, in camera now. All right, so pair, pair, pair. Each of those can become a pung. Seems like we have way too many tiles, but we don't. Okay. So each of these can become a pung. We just need to pair up and pung. I think that's what I would do. I think also, let's see here. We could, let's see what it looks like if we played all chows. If we had a potential chow here, right here, potential chow, maybe this could be the pair. Chow, this is isolated. Potential chow, potential chow. That probably would be a quicker win. Chow, 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 all potentials. These are not chows in and of themselves. We need a six bam here, a three bam or a six bam, a seven bam, and an eight crack here, or a seven dot, sorry. So I think. Probably I would hold the eight bam here for a while in case I decide to go for all pung. Same thing with this seven crack. So I think that's what I would do. I would play all chows. Chow, 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 pair. Four sets and a pair. So that would be a three fawn hand because I have that one flower, which is my seat flower and the flower for the wind of the round. Okay, let's go to the south round. And this time we're gonna be in seat seven. Seat seven is west. West. Okay, here we go. We get 13 tiles this time as non-dealer. Two 
two fawn minimum. No flowers this time. Okay. So for this one, south round, we are in the west seat. I would hold that west because if we paired up, we could have a pwn or pung, three of a kind, of our seat wind. We do have mostly dots, but look, we have a pung of nine bams. No other pairs, though. That's going to be a rough go for this one because we've got to have two fawn. Right now, we have one fawn because we have no flowers. Anytime you have no flowers, you can have a fawn for that. But the minute you draw a flower, that goes away. If the flower is not your seat, then you, you don't recoup that fawn. So it's really risky to bank on no flowers as your fawn. We could potentially play all chow again. Let's see here. We would have to throw that away. There's a chow right there. There's a potential chow. This is isolated. There's a pair. Here's a potential chow. So we would need, here's another pair. Here's a pair. So this pair we would hold, of course. So we would have chow, potential chow, potential chow. We would need to get a tile in here somewhere to make a chow out of that. So an all chow hand would be one fawn. No flowers would be one fawn. So that would be two fawn. We would be racing against the clock though, because again, the minute we draw a flower, if it's not our flower, we have to find another fawn somewhere. You kind of have to rely on your flower if you're playing for all chows. Because if you play all chows, you can't get a scoring element for a pung of a wind or a dragon. I think the recourse here, though, is slim. Yeah, I think I would go for all chow, no flowers. Risky move. Let's play West Round. Seat nine, so we're in north this time. We are non-dealer, so we get 13. No flowers. We've got a pair of red dragons, though. That punged could be a fawn all by itself. Here's another dragon and a south wind. Let's see if we have a major suit. And by major suit, what I mean is mostly one suit. That would be a major suit. For example, here we do have a major suit. We have mostly bams. I would play half flesh in this case. We have a potential pwn or pung, P-U-N-G, potential pung, potential pung. We have three potential pungs. We need a couple more bams maybe or to pair up these honors and then make pungs out of those, hopefully. We only have four discards. That's not bad for a half flush. A half flush, which is one suit with winds and dragons. Winds and dragons together are called honors. A half flush would be three fawn. If we pung the, the red dragon, we would get a fawn for that also. So that would be three fawn for half flush, a fawn for the dragon, that would be four, and no flowers would be five. So this would be a five fawn hand. But again, you can't really bank on that no flower fawn because it could go away if you draw the wrong flower. That's what I would do here. Okay, we're on north round. And we are in seat 10. Seat 10 is south. Oops.
We're non-dealers, so we get 13 tiles. Let's see what we got. We are seat two south. We got a one flower. That's not our seat. So we get nothing for that. But we do get actually a replacement. I guess that's better than nothing. So we have a north. Ooh, look at this. Winds. We are seat north. We do have one. We're, uh, I'm sorry, it's north round. We're seat two. We have a single south. That would be our seat wind. And we have the wind of the round, north. So if we can pair these up, we would get fawn for that. Let's see if we have a major suit. We do. We have a major suit with a pair. I would go for half flesh again. We only have four discards. Did I get a replacement tile? Yes, I did. Okay, so I would pwn the west. I think I would, you could pwn the four, but you could also break it up and make two cheese. I think I would do that and then have that. We would need another dot and pair up the honors. Chi, chi, pwn, and then maybe pwn one of those and pair that up. That's what I would try for here. Half flesh. Half flesh would be three fawn. And we're not, I, I don't know about these. We'd have to pair up to even be able to consider having those as part of the score. I think a half flesh would be conservative. Three fawn. Let me know what you think about random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you haven't learned how to play yet, check out those video links and watch them. Learn how to play. You can play on any kind of a set. Even if you have an American set, you can play this style on an American set. It really is a lot of fun and it's very flexible. It's much like Rummy. Give it a try and let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Then click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these random polls and solitaire videos that can give you some strategy ideas and some insight into the game that can give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random polls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.